Warning, do not try this at home. Witch Russian Lab cannot accept any liability for accident, injury or death occurs as well as any damage to property as a result of recreating any part of these videos at home. This is why I create these videos so you can enjoy them. All machines featured are mechanically bad or economically unrepairable unless stated. Thank you. I wonder, can you make tea with a washing machine? Because uh, of course you need to boil the water and we, ooh, yeah we have to boil wash. In fact, let's go with uh, one extra and put intensive wash on to make it ex intensively boiled. We've got our tea bags here. Uh, and don't shout at me because I'm wasting. No, this fell in my sink earlier. Crap. Oh well. Let's uh, stick them in. Anyway, we're set to boil wash there. Two hours to the boiler. Interesting. Quite interested to see how the bags react. Are they going to rip apart? What is it going to taste like after it's been boiled? You know how serious I'm about this lab test? We're going to even test it. We're going to taste test it. Uh, I think I need some new milk. This one's a bit out of date. By about two weeks. And maybe I should dunk a custard cream in it. Because I am proper British. So far the bags are holding up pretty fine. Anyway, I'm too lazy to stir uh, my cup of tea, so I'm going to have my washing machine to make it for me. Or, better yet, can it make tea for 150 people in one go? Surely it's got to be cheaper and easier than boiling the kettle 8 million times. In fact, let's just work out the math very quickly. You have to boil a kettle, um, uh, well, boiling a kettle takes about 5 minutes to do and makes 8 cups of tea. This takes about an hour, not quite two hours, about an hour or twenty or so to get to 90 before it drains out. So, and it's making 150, so let's work out the max. So, I'd have to boil the kettle a total of... Uh, let's see... 19 times. And at five minutes ago, that's hundred and thirty-five minutes. So it will take a bit longer to boil the kettle as many times to make uh, a cup of tea for everyone for a kettle. This would be quite interesting then, to see what happens. Hmm. I think them bags are starting to split now. Hmm. So it would be quite interesting to see how they all go. The only downside with this is how strong the tea is going to be. There's 150 tea bags amongst about 6 litres of water. 
Now, your kettle takes about 1.7 litres of water, and so really, I put too many tea bags for the amount of water. In fact, I'd need uh, around, well, again, 1.7 times 19 is a lot of water. In fact, that's uh, around about 34 litres of water, so I'm, I'm trying to work out in the air. 34 litres of water, so we would have to be halfway up the door. Don't feel bad for the machine. I can't, uh, the parts that I want can't be sourced anywhere. You know, I want to make it. Otherwise, it would have actually been repaired, unfortunately. It's a bit of a shame, really.
So, sit there, Paul, where we're up to. It cannot drain that tea. The tea has, uh, yeah, it's disintegrated into many, yeah, that. And it's not switched off. Also, weirdly, where's that come from? We seem to have a weird trail of tea. From where exactly? Where's that come from? How unusual is that? But it's clearly come from the back. So have we got a hole that we don't know about? Maybe. If possible. Yeah. Right. Well, it's not failing then. Mr. Brown Tea. Still a lot of tea. Yeah, so basically, it didn't get clogged up with the tea bags, it got clogged up with, well, the tea. It was quite literally like silt in a sump. Can you make tea in a washing machine? The answer? No. Yeah, it's turned the door still green. How weird. <laughs> 